The one million dollar questions every eBay seller asks themselves is how eBay algorithm works. How the hell we supposed to take our listings to the top of the search result and generate hundreds and thousands of sales? In this video, I'm going to teach you how eBay algorithm Cassini works in 2022, what are the factors that you need to take in consideration and where you should put your focus in order to rank your product to the top and generate hundreds and thousands of sales. So sit down, relax, and let's get started. So before we jump in into my screen and we're going through the presentation and the live example, I just want to make one thing clear. eBay as Amazon and Google and Walmart is a search engine marketplace. Buyers coming to eBay, searching for product they want to buy, find what they're looking for, and they buy it. And in order of eBay to be successful marketplace and win this huge competition they have with Amazon, Walmart, and any other ones, they have to make sure their buyers are satisfied. And this is where eBay algorithm Cassini take action. The algorithm job is to make sure that the, when buyers search for product, he will see the most relevant products with the best service, fastest shipping, closest location, best price, to make sure that, that the buying experience of this customer will be an amazing experience and he will return back to eBay. Now, after you understand this, I'm going to dive into my screen. I prepared presentation and I'm gonna go through three main factors who define how eBay algorithm works. The first one is search engine optimization. The second one is the listing performance. And the third one is your store performance. Let's get started. So starting from factor number one, search engine optimization. So as we said, eBay is a search engine and buyers searching for their products, right? So the first and basic core principle is your keywords, titles, item specific and description in order from the algorithm to know which product you're selling and displaying it to, your, to the buyers, to the people who search for the product, you need to use the right keywords in your title, you need to use the right keywords in your item specific and the right keywords in the description. And you need to understand how it works. So we build a rich title with long tail keyword, we make sure to put in the item specific only relevant specification. We, want, we don't want to spam eBay with tons of keywords and unnecessary information. And we want to create very simple description with title that follow that all the keywords we couldn't add to the eBay title because the eBay title, the listing title is limited to 80 characters. So all the keywords we couldn't add to the listing title, we can add on the list on the title in the description. Then we want to make it clear and easy to read and we don't want to use too much HTML. Why HTML takes time to load, takes time to the algorithm, to the search engine to load this information and it's uh, uh, just uh, downgrade the ranking. So we want to keep it simple, clean, not too much pictures, not too much designs, not too much heavy uh, HTML. Now, the second thing is the pricing. Eventually, like we say, eBay want to show what are the most attractive prices, right? They want to show the products with the most attractive prices. So the price have a big factor on the ranking of your product. So if you're competing three or four different sellers and you have all similar titles, but you have the options to put much lower price, you will have higher chances to get to the top of the search result. However, is not everything, okay? It's not everything. You can still sell it for more expensive price if you have other advantages. And the last one is shipping and return policies. Shipping and return policies are basically uh, the main two factors that show how good is the service that you offer, how fast you, the product that you're selling will arrive at the customer, how many days you allow to the customer to return your product. All these three parts, keywords, pricing, and shipping and return policies are part of your listings and they have direct effect on your search result. And this is why I put all of them in the search engine optimization. It's not just about the keywords, it's also about the content, it's also about the service. If, if on Google, when you create an, a blog article, you need to put keywords, but you also need to make it uh, with, with relevant information, in eBay, what important are the prices and the shipping and the return policies. And of course the keyword, which, which is the first step. Let's move to the next one, listing performance. So after we've created a list and we listed it to eBay, it starts to interact with eBay algorithm. 
People search for the product, your listings come on the top of the search result. eBay usually give to your listings around a couple of hours to be on the top of the search result. And based on your listing performance, they decide if you will stay there or not. So the click-through rate, super important. The conversion rate from page views to purchases and your sales history. These three things will impact the ranking of your product from the moment you list it and what will happen one day later, one week later. The click-through rate is where people scroll through the search result and they see your listings and they click on it. In order to increase click, on rate, click rate, it's using the right picture and using the right title. These two things are increasing click-through rate. Another way to increase click-through rate is offer different discounts. Conversion rate, is about, uh, of course, converting from, like I say, from page views to purchases. The higher the conversion rate will be, the higher your ranking will be. So you have to make sure that this is related to pricing. This is related to your seller performance and how you were able to build trust with the buyer. When he watch your listings, why he will buy your product from you and not from other sellers. There are different tricks to increase uh, conversion rate. Can be done with pictures can be done with the adding information like shipping and business information in the description or strong information like, for example, like free shipping to the title if you have space, etc, etc. And the sales history, it's something you cannot prepare in advance, but the more sales your listings have, the stronger the ranking will be. This is why when you see products and the competitor that sold a specific product 50,000 times or 5,000 times or 300 times, if you don't have really another selling advantage on him, it will be very hard to compete. So you need to have really strong and a competitive advantage on, on these sellers in order to, to win. So another strategy that a lot of sellers use in order to gain sales history, they start with selling the products first with no profit or with very low profit. They generate a lot of sales and just then they increase the price. So we've discussed search engine optimization. We discussed listing performance. Let's move to the last one, which is account performance, seller performance. So uh, the seller performance, the account performance, I break it down to three. So sell through rate, amount of active listings compared to uh, divided by sales times 100. The higher your sell through rate, the higher your overall ranking for your new listings will be. If you will, if you will have 300% sell through rate, for instance, if you have 100 active listings and you sold them 300 times, you have more chances to rank on top of the sales result with new listings that you list than someone that have 5% sell through rate. This is another important metric to take care of. It's a long-term metric that have direct effect on eBay algorithm and on your, on, on your listing uh, uh, performance. The second one is customer service. The more active you are, the faster you answer, the more polite you are, the more return customers you have, the more ranking you will have the higher your account performance will be. So create ready templates, be very polite. I always used to say, kill your customers with kindness, never leave messages without answer. Even if it's just the last message from your customers, always say, thank you very much. I wish you a beautiful day. Always be the last to answer. And if you want to get message templates, I left in the description message templates so you can download it and use it for your own use. These are message templates we use for post sales, pre-shipping, and post shipping uh, to make sure your customers get the best customer service and the best communication. And the last one is defect and late shipment rate. On this, you actually have control. So you want to make sure uh, you don't have any defects. So answer all the cases on time. Make sure to close cases on your favor or make sure to just uh, give your customers what you need and make sure to not have late shipment rate. So what you can do if you don't receive tracking number on time, you can always mark it as shipped first and then update tracking number. It depends on your business model. If you're a wholesaler, you have full control on your product, so you always can have, you will never have late shipment rate because you're always on top shipping on time. If you drop shipping, sometimes things are not in our hands. We have to take in consideration that we may not be able to have perfect uh, shipping rates, all right? Overall, these are the three factors that, that, that I went through that are the most important. These are the search engine optimization, listings performance, and account performance. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to move on to my screen. We're going to reverse engineer a couple of listings, and we're going to see in live example uh, how to use Zeek Analytics and the Title Builder to optimize our titles and to create winning listings.
let's get started. I hope you guys enjoying and finding this video valuable. We are currently running a contest and you can win 30 days subscription for free on Zeek Analytics. All you need to do is comment below Zeek for free, subscribe to the channel and smash the like button. I'm going to get back to the video and continue with the in-depth training. So what I'm going to do now first is I'm going to demonstrate you how the whole process look from the buyer eyes and we're going to then discuss the whole uh, eBay algorithm thing. So I'm going to search here now for weight dumbbell set for instant. Let's imagine a buyer come to eBay, sit on eBay search engine and he search for weight dumbbell set and he hit the search button. eBay will automatically display the most relevant products, right? We can see the titles, we can see the pictures, uh, price, we can see here if it is a brand new or used, if it is a sponsored or not. And we can also see if it's fast and free. If you remember, we discussed shipping, how fast is the shipping when the product arrived, and of course the sales history. So if I scroll down here to the result, I see that without taking in consideration these two listings because they are sponsored, these are the top ranking products. These last sponsors, these are not sponsored anymore. So this is the first listings, this is the second listings, and this is the third listing. So let's say we want to compete uh, with this product. We know that we can source something similar to this, for instance, only for this example. So I'll open the listing and I'll start to go through the listing based on what we've learned in the presentation. I want to see if I can make a better title. I want to see if I can have a better price. This guy has 696 sold items, it's a lot. I need to have competitive advantage on him. Eat a better price, eat a better picture. I need to do something better than him in order to win him, right? So I look on the returns, I look on the shipping, uh, and I'll scroll down to look on the description, item specific, see if I can make better item specific, better descriptions. So let's start from the description and go up. So we can see that he have a quite good descriptions, not too many. We have one picture, but very light, very clean. He don't use title that follow the description. So I usually prefer to have title here. So this is one advantage you can have. A rich title here with a lot of keywords that will give you keywords advantage on your competitor. Item specific seems he did it all right, but I believe you may be able to add more things like materials, like quantities, size, etc. stuff like this, you know, it's very, very important. Uh, buyers looking for different specifications. If you have it in the item specific, you will rank higher. So we already found two ways to be better than him. Then I look into the shipping and payments and see, okay, return policies, you have 30 days return. I can put 60 days. Now, of course, you have to see what is the risk, what is the price of the product and how much return you can actually afford. But if you are able to put 60 days return, another advantage. Now, looking on the shipping, he's offering standard shipping, free four day shipping. If you can add one uh, expedited shipping, even better. Again, another way to have advantage, okay? So we've looked into the description and the shipping and payments and uh, return policies, we found three ways to be better than this competitor and now scrolling up of course you have to check with you suppliers if you can have better price than this if you can have better price than this amazing let's say for the example if you can sell this for 39 dollars and have no profit in the beginning this is way to come to the market so you will sell it for 39 dollars the first 10 or 20 transactions you will make no profit but after this you will be ranked to the top of a search result under a niche and under a keyword search that generate consistent sales the whole year we're talking about listings that generate 696 sold items okay and then the last thing is to see how we can make better picture and better title of course so better picture what i like to do is i like to also go back to the search result and see okay which pictures other people use or what are the best listing use if you want to get more insight about who are the best listings under this keyword search you can go to zeek analytics to the product research and you can search for this keyword inside product research just like this hit the search button and zeek analytics will show you based on your filters and settings what are the top selling items and then you can analyze their pictures you can analyze their titles, you can get more overall understanding of the whole niche, not just one product. So when scrolling down, we can see that these two are actually the top three, right? These two in the top three, they are different products, 
but they have very similar pictures. So we understand that putting the, the, the weights like this, one on another, this is attractive, right? So this is one way to see. We can see that this guy generate uh, uh, this, uh, sold this product 3,400 times lifetime, and he said it more expensive. We want to check why. We open the listings and we analyze him as well. So this is one way to see, okay, what are the top pictures, and then go and try to make better pictures. Maybe different angle a little bit. Maybe your product looks a little bit different. Maybe you can add some shadow to make it more standing out, etc., etc., etc. And the last part is optimizing the title of this product. And this is, of course, basic and super important. And for this, we're going to use the title builder. So let me show you how we do it. So I will open here the title builder. Here it is. And I'll put here the right settings, United States 30 days eBay marketplace. I'll take the keywords, of course. So it's dumbbell set or a weight dumbbell set. You can also take like this. Okay. I'll go back here and put it here. If you want to be more generic, you can just put dumbbell sets to get more overall and uh, more, more broad results. I'll hit the search button as you can see here. In a couple of seconds, Zeke will pull up the keywords, the long tail keywords, the generic keywords, and the statistics, the average searches, the competition under this search term, and the sales this search term generated. This is powerful information for you guys. Now, what I will do, this is my method. I will copy this title like this. I'll put it here. Okay, and I'll start to see which keywords are not necessary. Okay, which keywords are not necessary for search terms. So, weight dumbbell set 44 LB adjustable for men and women. I would remove maybe for men and women because I don't think it's really necessary. Home bodybuilding training. These are necessary things. Right now we have 64 characters out of 80. So we can look here into the long tail keywords and see what we are missing, right? So weight dumbbell set is very strong one very strong keyword phrase long tail keyword phrase 26 competitors 412 sales in the last 30 days coated hex dumbbell we have to check if we sell coated we can use this keyword barbell dumbbell hand weight so the word the hand hand weight we don't have here so this is def definitely something we can add so we can add home hand bodybuilding training now Sometimes, and it, of course, better to keep it with the same phrase, but because it's make no sense to put it now hand weight dumbbell set because it will change the whole structure, I will just add it in the end. This is tip important for you guys. I don't like to change the structure and the root. The beginning, the first five, six keywords are the most important one, okay? If this title of this competitor worked, I don't want to change it. I just want to improve it. So overall, we have room for another keyword. And we can go through here and see what are we missing single pack maybe we can look into the uh, into here so coated it's something a lot of generate a lot of sales and a lot of uh, use and if you have sell coated one you can write coated and here you go you have 76 out of 80 you copy the title and you list the listing and you rank to the top of the search results so i hope guys you find this video valuable you learn a lot please smash the like button subscribe to our channel and i'll see you on the next video thank you guys